Now, how do you balance? So you're technically working on your own right now, or is it like contract that you're taking on? I'm working on my own. So I, I have no uh, I have publishers. I mean, you, you might And say I have what's clients. I mean, I did, that's a weird way to think of things, but uh, I don't have, um, there's no, there's no boss, uh, but I have right. like, you know, obligations that I, I, I promise to hit. Yeah. certain timelines Yeah, exactly. and dates Yeah. and yeah okay that works now how do you find that i mean you've been in the industry where you're working for somebody for so many Yeah. years and now you're doing this thing solo with some you know agreements here Yeah. and and whatnot how's what's how would you describe the difference because i'm i'm asking this question because i'm thinking about entrepreneurs because that's what you are Okay. right um and how do you sustain yourself in this realm that you're now navigating you know by yourself and You're doing all this work. How do you sustain yourself? What are some of the tips that you can give somebody who's listening to this and thinking about stepping out on their own and leaving the big corporation? Yeah. Um, well, hmm. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back to <laughs> knock on wood. You never know, right? Like, but based Yeah. on how I feel about things now, I think, um, I don't. It'd be very difficult for me to give up being my own boss. I love collaborating. I love having partners, um, but. Uh, The freedom and accountability that I have being my own boss is is it's once I've tasted that I can't I can't go back to it. Um, as to how how to keep yourself going, so it's still an ongoing um, it's still an ongoing process for me. Uh, I haven't had problems keeping myself going because you you basically well I basically have to build myself up from. You know, right up here, this is my salary to like, well, my salary Yeah. is zero. <laughs> my salary is Yeah. zero and I've got to fight for every, this is a bit dramatic, Yeah. but you know, like you, you if you're a farmer, if you, you're, if you're slowly planting your, your crops, if you don't harvest them, Yeah. like, why did you, what are you doing? Like, why did, like, what? So it's like, I'm, it's, it's, I'm a lot more um, appreciative of the opportunities I have now because I also have the opportunity to, to not take them right i if i really didn't want to do them i i could have just not taken them and if i if i took them it must be at some level i i want to do it um the the tricky thing that i'm learning now is that uh i can't say yes to everything because that's his own sometimes that's even more i mean you're not like you know like you just want to say yes to every single cool thing That comes along. And then when you're young, it's like, well, that's easy. I'll just work myself to the bone. <laughs> Right, yeah. right, Like, right. I, I, I have my lazy years, as you know. You know, now I'm going to be work, this workaholic years. But I'm past that Yeah. now, too. It's like, this is, I'm just going to burn Yeah. myself out like this. Yeah. Um, so now it's trying to figure out this balance where, okay, I, I love what I do, but this is, this is not who, all who I am. Like, you know, if I, if I had a heart Yeah. attack tomorrow, knock on wood, I don't, I won't. look back and say, oh, the last 10 years was the best use of my time, you know? But yeah, I Right, want to like, right, you know, exactly. do normal human things, have friendships and Yeah. meet people. Like a lot of, I hadn't caught up with a lot of friends. I mean, you, for Yeah. instance, I didn't know what, what was Yeah. anything was happening because I was making these funny books. Um, and going forward, I want to find that, that uh, more sustainable balance, I think. Yeah. Now, anchovy. Yeah. Why that name? <laughs> that's so okay so that was also another like a uh, brainchild of me and uh irma my studio mate at the time Okay. and we didn't have it just there's no plans for anything right so especially when you have like a wacky partner you you don't Yeah. we're not, we're not like doing market research on like what books will sell we don't even really know It's just like, you're just trying to like write things to make the other person laugh, right? Because you get that immediate feedback. So we, I don't know what it was. It was just like one person said, hey, you know what we should do after machine? We should do like this, this, um, this detective story, you know, kind of like, uh, uh, kind of like Shades of Inspector Gadget, kind of the, uh, um, uh, Lupin, like the, that other, um, is that, Yeah. um, Yeah. 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 <laughs> And then the other person will say, yeah, and we should name everybody after food. 
And then, <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, let's do it. Like, you know, there's like, there was no, like, no, this is stupid. Like, why would you do it? Like, it was just like, it's just more ridiculousness. Uh, or some, yeah, like, yeah, some yeah. characters have been like, yeah, it'll be this and this and this. And it's like, then let's make them into a chicken. And then, <laughs> <laughs> so, so there, there is no real reason why other than it was, it was fun. You know what? No, let me change that. So it's funny, but as you start telling the story, you realize actually yeah. having that kind of like you have a character named anchovy. Everybody's named after a cake, a wine, a type of vegetable. Right. I was like, oh, there's actually story <laughs> advantages to this because um, it's set in a pretty mundane world. You know, everybody drives cars; mm-hmm. they have normal jobs. But just the the art style was cartoony. But the fact that they don't have these they kind of sound like normal names, but they're not. Mm, kind of makes it. Yeah. It gives you room to play with what's, what you can what do. Can yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Without yeah. Uh, without explicitly making it too cartoony, I guess. Yeah. Right. Right. Wow. So. <laughs> that couldn't get past the name. I was like, Antrobi. Why this name? I have to ask him. And That's I, why I have <laughs> such a hard time explaining. Like people ask me what this is about. I'm like, well, you know, it's kind of like a. A murder mystery like Hardy Boys, that are that, and then, and then the last part you always forget. Oh, and everybody's named after food because if I don't say that, I feel like I'm not being honest with what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, I don't know. 